Hi, everyone. <laughs> what are we going to do? All of the new releases for, for April 1st. Yep, we got all the new releases coming out on April 1st. So, the first one I'm going to show you is Are You There, Little Unicorn? So this is part of the Little Peep Through series. It's a newer series. We have a few other ones. We have Fox, Bunny, Bunny and Elephant. Elephant. So they're super cute. Um, they have little finger trails on all the pages. There's little peep through holes. They're cardboard so you can't wreck them. Are You There, Little Unicorn? I can see your nose behind the trees, so you think that there's a unicorn there, but... It's not you, it's a hopping hare with big long ears. Are you there, little unicorn? I can see your wavy tail. So you think that that's the unicorn's tail, but it's a butterfly. So every page, you think the unicorn's gonna be there, but it's not until the very end. So we really like these ones. What's this one? Stargazer's Journal. Yeah, it says more than just a notebook. An inspirational journal, beautifully illustrated, and with plenty of space to fill your own notes and sketches. This is my favorite book. He really likes it because it has... Constellations. Yes, constellations. So there's lots of little bits of information in here. Great things to read, and then lots of room for your own thoughts or memories to put in. There's a few different journals. We have nature journal. We have travel journal. I wonder if there's dinosaurs journal coming in the mail. That would be good. This is one of my favorite stories of all time. Not Usborne stories, just stories. I love the story of the three wishes. When Ben is granted three wishes, he dreams of changing his life forever. But you must always be careful what you wish for. A fantastical tale of love, magic, and sausage. If you don't know this story, you're missing out. Or your children are missing out because it is one of the best stories ever written. My children act out. Your children? My, my 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 sisters act out the whole story. Yes, they acted it out at a play one time. It was super fun. Then we've got two new magic painting books. There's animals and magical creatures. Yes. Like. Which one is your most favorite? He likes the animal one. So um, they come with a little paintbrush. You just dip it in water and... Um, all the colors come to life. All the pictures just come to life with the colors. So this is the animal one. And this one is cool because it has all of these little magical creatures. There's gnomes. There's unicorns and narwhals. And it's just really cool. I didn't know a, I didn't know a narwhal was a magical creature. Well, I'm sure that was a narwhal. Isn't isn't this a narwhal? Yeah. Isn't that isn't that a narwhal? Is it? Yeah. Okay. Then we have a little transfer book. This has over four hundred transfers in it. I remember transfers from when I was a kid, and I loved them. So you take them out, and then you just use like the back end of a pen or a pencil. Well, um, it ex it explains it all right here, and you just rub it, and then it rubs through off of the transfer or sheet. Yeah, or crayon into the picture. So you can color one side and then you can decorate the other side with all of your transfer sheets. So that's pretty cool. Then we have a new little sticker dolly dressing and it's all about Snow White. So I love this because it's it's not just a sticker book, a reusable sticker book. It's also a story. So you can read all about Snow White while you're dressing her and filling the scene with all of the other characters. I haven't read it yet, but I'm sure that it's awesome. So there is the Snow White. Want to get the next one out? Because it happens to be your favorite. Uh, here's one of my favorite books. It's a, 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 The Little White Queen Dot to Dot. So it has fun activities for pen control. For pen control? And it has lots of dot to dots. And have lots of activities to, so, so you can be practiced. 
So yeah, so you can connect the dots to make the pictures, but there's also other things. So finish the caterpillar by drawing over the dotted lines, give the bee some stripes, make a pattern on the planet, um, draw more food in the bird feeder, find and circle four rabbits. So it's not just dot to dot, it's actually an activity book too. So Kaysen really, really likes that one. That's his favorite book in the whole box, I think. This one's pretty good too. What's this one called? And why are you making that face? Um, it's called Poppy and Sam's Animals. Ah. Yeah, so Poppy and Sam are feeding all the animals on the farm. And they're a noisy bunch. Can you stop, please? So it's just a cute little story. On every page, there's a different button that you can push to hear all the sounds on the farm. There's cows and pigs. Tractors. Yeah, there's there's all sorts of pages. And again, it's thin cardboard, so we don't have to worry about kids. Oops. Yeah. Or adults wrecking them. What? Okay. What? This one. Kira's favorite book. My first body book. We read it. We read the whole book in the car. They did. Last night on our way to town, they read the entire book in the car. And I was actually really impressed, even on the first page. Um, it talks about how everybody's different. People are different shapes and sizes. They have different talents. They look different. Some might have a walking stick. Some might have a hearing aid. Um, I really just like that um, it's making it acceptable um, to have a different look than someone else. I think it's great to just let kids know but it's okay to be different, so I really liked it. It talks about body parts. It talks about strong bones. How do you get strong bones? Riding a bike and running around. Yep, exercise. And how do you get big, strong muscles? Carrying more stuff than before. Yep, always trying to carry something a little bit heavier builds your muscles. So he... um. He retains all these little facts that we read, which makes it really fun. Um, there's all about the senses and the brain, and eating and drinking, and just all sorts of things. It's a great, great introduction to the body. And again, that was um, thin cardboard pages too. This is the last book. What's it called? My girl's second favorite, Multiplying and Dividing. I like how you decide what everybody's favorites are. Yep. So, I'm, I'm learning about adding and subtracting, and my sisters are learning about multiplying and dividing. Very true. So, this is a lift the flap book with over 130 flaps to lift. It teaches you multiplying, dividing, doubling and halving, times table, number lines, using fractions, bigger numbers, and then at the end there's this like little treasure hunt thing. So you can see that there's tons and tons of flaps. Underneath each of the questions is the answer. So it's like little puzzles. My old jetpack got me home in 20 minutes. This upgrade gets me home in half the time. So that's just 10 minutes, 20 divided by two. So just fun little ways to encourage your kids to think about math and learn. There's the times table. There's some number lines. So yeah, this is Multiplying and Dividing. Those are all of the new releases that are coming out March 1st. Um, I just want to throw in right now we are in the middle of a kit sale. So anybody in Canada who wants to join um, my Usborne team can sign up today or tomorrow for $20. $20 today. Um, $21 tomorrow, which is Thursday, and you get over $200 worth of books. And then in April, you can buy all of these books that I just showed you for half price with your consultant discount. So that's my little get sale plug. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Say bye.